Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this internship course. Before we get started, I want you to watch this video and leave a comment on your observations. Watch another video and don't forget to leave a comment on your observations. As I had mentioned in my previous video, the objective of this course is to learn press tool design using Katia V5. Press tools are also commonly referred to as stamping ties. What you are seeing on the screen is a press tool mounted on a press. What you are seeing on the right side of the screen is a press tool. This is what I will be teaching you to design. And I also expect you to design this press tool using Katia V5 or any other CAD software. If you don't have access to a computer and a CAD software, don't worry, you can design this press tool on a drawing sheet using a scale and a pencil. Why you should learn press tool design? There are two reasons for you to learn press tool design. Number one, I am a specialist press tool designer. So, you will be learning from the specialist. Number two, press tools are related to manufacturing processes and manufacturing tooling. A mechanical engineer with the knowledge of manufacturing processes and manufacturing tooling can for sure become a tool designer, a press tool designer. He can also become a better product designer. Why you should learn Katia V5? As I had mentioned in my previous video, Katia V5 is an employable skill. If you learn Katia V5, your chances of getting a job increases. Katia V5 is also the most powerful and also the most popular design software used by many multinational companies across the globe. During this course, you are going to design a press tool for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. What you are seeing on the screen is an actual car scissor jack and we will be designing the press tool for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. We will be designing the press tool only for the blanking operation. I will explain the manufacturing processes in my next video. As I had mentioned in my previous video, during this internship, you are going to acquire the technical skills, you are going to acquire employable skills and you are also going to acquire communication skills. After successfully completing this internship, you will get a soft copy of the internship certificate. For you to successfully complete this internship, you will have to prepare and submit an internship report. And then I will teach you how to prepare the internship report. That's all in this video lesson. Thanks. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. You can also comment your questions.